Watch his layout, dude. You've never seen a layout like this. Goodness. Here it comes. <laughs> so bad. <laughs> so bad. <laughs> it's so nasty. Oh. Yeah, man. Nice. Nice one. Is right. Are you kidding me? Look at that. Beautiful. Bet. Bet. Tight. Dolphin. Got the fly Got the fly line. Uh, right there. Right there. Ooh, nice fish right there. Woo! You guys ready? I'm going. <laughs> Only a few times, you know, a year, if you're lucky, do you get to get out with two buddies uh, fishing. Today, I'm with two guys that I cherish the moment that I'm with them. We're talking about Charlie Scoville, one of my favorite captains down here. I was born and raised here in Isla Mirada, right here in the Florida Keys, um, third generation fisherman. From the time I was 13 years old, I knew I was gonna be a, a fisherman in the Keys. And then, you know, we got Donnie Lang, uh, owner of the tackle shop. So growing up here in the Keys and Homestead, as kids, you know, I remember going snook fishing before, before high school, you know, or jump a tarpon or something, just throwing off a bank or in a canal or wherever we could. As a fisherman, you always want to have a rough game plan on what you're, you know, maybe what we're going to go fish for. Charlie's run the show. We're just going to three friends going fish. This morning, gorgeous. It's calm. It's flat. My first thought was bait. We got to catch bait. I don't know where, when, how, but I think we're going to go find some bait up in, in the little canals and see if we can find some pilchards. Go ahead, Jared, I'm marking them. Jared, I'm just gonna kind of drift over yeah, you. I'll just uh, pull it from the back. Oh, I think I got them good. No, I got them good, boys. Nice. Oh, wow, really good. This morning, I think we just, the mindset was Put bait in the water, set the trap, wait for it to go off. Let it be a king mackerel, let it be a mutton snapper, let it be a sailfish, hopefully, you know, black fin tunas. Anything that'll eat a live bait, we're gonna go put baits in the water for them. Donnie, you can start dropping too, right there on that inshore side. And again, guys, we may drag them around a little bit and just drag them around from one side to the other. Last year, we had just an amazing trip together with Captain Charlie and Donnie down in the Tortugas. I mean, we're spending three days there on the Tackle Center boat. I trailered my contender down and launched in Key West and made the trip over to meet them. But once you get there, it's just so pristine and it's almost untouched. <laughs> what is that thing? It's a yellow jack. Yellow jack, Come baby. on, spatula. Got him. <laughs> It's a beach right there, baby. To be able to go there and have the, you know, have the boat to stay on and then bring a contender that we can fish out of and run around, it makes it easy and adds a whole nother level to it. So out at the fore, we caught a mixed bag of, you know, of our different reef fish, you know, groupers and snappers, muttons, you know, and then we had the blackfin tuna show up, which was really cool. So yeah, in with the tunas comes the sharks and uh, of course, Charlie hooks the shark on the small rod. Do you feel sharky, Chuck? No. <laughs> I feel dead. And battles that thing for an hour and a half, hour and 45 minutes, whatever. Oh! Oh! When we were down there, we, we had an absolute ball. It, it was just to be somewhere that's so remote, you know, and to be with those two. I wish I could go back in time and, could, you know, relive it and do it again. What is this? Hooked up? Hooked up? Yeah, we're hooked up over here. Got them on. Got them on. Oh, he's going around. I like the silent bite. <laughs> he's going, what, what, what? And I'm like, oh, I was trying what? to tell you I had him on. Oh, oh, okay. oh whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. What happened? 
He just grew. I just got picked up. He hasn't woke up yet either, though. I got a runner. Got him, Jared? I got him. Hey. Blue bummer. That's it. First one to get tight, though. Got him. I hope yours is bigger than that thing, man. I think it might be. <laughs> what are you predicting? Whatever it is, it really wants to go back to the bottom. <laughs> Ghetto. Woo! Grouper. Amberjack. I like it. Oh, Got him. Okay. I'm sure no, that's what, it was something that was uh, wanting to go down. What's up, baby? That's a pretty one. Beautiful. Hey, it's a good start, man. Getting tight. We're just going fishing, boys. Yeah. Just going fishing. You can go ahead and give him a kiss. Yeah, go ahead. Enjoy. <laughs> Poor fish is going to go back. Yeah. He goes, Tell don't, us, buddy, you are don't, not don't gonna believe. Just hey, for don't you. go up there. He goes, do not go up there. He goes, I just got, just I just got uh, tongue kissed by this old sailor. is brought to you by Contender, legendary sport fishing boats. By Yamaha, reliability starts here. And by Costa, see what's out there. I think I just got bit on the way up. He ate it right here. See, it looks like maybe a king, small king down there. Here, you know what? You get slime. I'm going to actually man these rods for once. Oh, boy. <laughs> yeah. You know what? Uh, I know. See the handoff there? You know, the, you know what's going to happen, though? I know. <laughs> Be careful what you grab. Yeah. No, I made sure I got all materials, so it'll get. Right. Nice, <laughs> That was, that was good. <laughs> I'm fishing with two buddies here, um, two guys that I think highly of and really look up to. And one's, you know, Captain Charlie Scoble. Known him since I was a young kid and, and obviously the stories he has. Fishing the Billfish Extreme Release League, you had to tag them close, get everything on film, you know, for all your points. And it was rough, they were biting. And the first fish we caught that morning, I reached over and grabbed a leader and we were getting ready to tag it. And the fish turned and jumped back at the boat and I pushed the angler out of the way and I put my arm up and the bill went through my arm and hit me in the chest. I grabbed the fish, put my elbow on his gill and just kind of held him. I had a two second shot. Am I gonna rip this thing out of my arm or am I gonna break the bill off the sailfish and tape it to me? So I just took a step back and pulled it off. Walked over in the corner, wrapped it in a rag, tightened it up, just to make sure I didn't get an artery or anything. About 10 minutes later, I took the rag off and wiggled my fingers and big old black ring from the sailfish slime on both sides of the hole. And about two seconds after that, I was sleeping. It was passed out. <laughs> the sailfish didn't fare too well. Yeah, I think it ended up infected. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Thank you.
Got him on the pilcher, baby. That's Woo! it. I like that, huh? That might be him, huh? Mm -hmm. That might be him. Dude, what do you got? Is that one? It looks like a King Mac. Is that a King? Pretty fish, though. Yeah. They are pretty, man. Just watch Pretty. It. Watch that treble hook, Jared. It's right there. in his lip. Come on, you. I got to get longer arms here. I'm glad it's you, not me. <laughs> I don't know if they make them much longer. Let's do this the right way, fish. Let's just be friends, you and I. Man, there you go, Charlie. Thank you. Beautiful. Hey, you want to hook your fish? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> uh <-huh>. <laughs> Beautiful, <laughs> though. Yep. I would like him and to be with uh, some stripes on him. Yeah. But we'll, hey, good start. Warm up fish. Warm up fish. See you, baby. All right, you take anything you can get at any time, anything that bites, saltwater fish. Hey, look at your, oh, look got at your him front. All. Come on now. Come he's on, gonna, dude. He's, he's gonna, gonna get wolfed. He's gonna get. He's gonna get wolfed right Look now. Oh, oh! Got him on. Got him on. <laughs> Saltwater fish, baby. On the goggle eagle. Oh man, what we got here? Woo! Oh, I got oh. the double. Oh, oh! Blackfin tuna. Blackfin. Get him, Charlie. Yeah. Pretty. 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 All right. What are you doing here? Yeah, man. Nice. nice one. Nice one is right. There's that treble hook. There's yes. That, that is hook. a pretty fish, and I'm I'm I will be keeping this thing for some oh, yeah. sashimi. You kidding me? Look at that. Beautiful. Nicely done. Your time on the water is precious. You return season after season to make unforgettable memories, fight a few fish, reconnect with friends, and recenter yourself. If you count on having this time, you need an outboard you can count on to power it. That's why boaters stay with Yamaha for the long run, for life. They know reliability starts here. When you make the kind of investment I have in boats, from my skiff to my contender, choosing the right trailer is everything. And I choose Ameritrail. They're built tough, man. You know, not only are they stylish and look good, and they have all these features, everything about it is done right. And it makes me feel comfortable trailing my boat down the highway. Ameritrail trailers. Load, launch, relax. Sail Kings is brought to you by Shimano Fishing Products and G. Loomis Rods. Feel connected. By the Tackle Center of Isla Mirada, from grunts to granders. And by Formula 88, biodegradable cleaner and degreaser. grew up fishing with my dad. You know, I just kind of kept going with the fishing and, and always enjoyed it. Kind of done done the full full gamut from backcountry to offshore and kind of every level. It's more of a technical game when you start getting into big game fishing and even the light tackle offshore fishing and you need a lot of specific tackle. Donnie Lang is a no-nonsense, just technical fisherman. And then now that he's in the tackle business, it's his tackle is better than anybody. We got to a point where we were struggling to find tackle here locally. We always said we needed a tackle shop here that was more localized and more specific to what, what we had going on here. We started the shop just to have what we needed and had no idea what it would grow into. Donnie's a fisher. He, he, he was a guy. He, you know, he traveled all over the world. So he knows what fishermen want and we're trying to support the charter boat industry, whether it's the backcountry fishing or offshore, you know, so that those guys have what they need and it's readily available and easy to get. 
What do you got? You going for some fruit? Some grapes? Dude, I've been eating a bunch of fruit. Hey, you pinch me off a of rack of them grapes? No. There's the whole thing. Anytime you go fishing with me, there's going to be a lot of food on that boat. Watch this layout, dude. You've never seen a layout like this. Goodness. Here it comes. Oh, my God. Too bad. Dude, that's a straight up platter. I've never seen one. Right there. Especially offshore fishing when there's some downtime, you know? There ain't nothing better. Just pick away at some chicken, pick away some sandwiches. Ooh, I think this is a tackle test. This is a freaking street right there. Yeah, dude, look at that. It was meant to fit there. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> I love it. You gotta keep this figure tight. So... Oh, on your long, on your long, on your long. Be tight. Got him on, huh? Got him on. Kind of look toothy, but we'll see. Dude, one direction real fast, next direction real fast. There he is. Good, he's, Jared. he's all over the place. He's oh, right I here. See some he's flash. right oh, here. Big bonita. Hey, we got tight though. Got a bite. We got a bite. We, a, we, we got a bite. I got excited there for a little bit, Charlie. The way he was. Dude, the way I he was, was fighting. too. Are bonita fish big? Well, it's a game fish, so yeah. yeah. So they're pretty big. <laughs> I do love the colors of a bonita though, you know, on their backs, man. They're beautiful fish. There's no doubt about that. Get a little action going, get him back going, and let's get the, get the bait out there and do it again. Got a bite, there is some life here. Let's get all the right life. Jerry, let's fish him there, buddy. Good? Yep, for now. Oh, oh on a short bait. Yep. Look like a dolphin to me. Got a bone, baby. Look like a dolphin. Yeah! Hey, Maui hey. fish. There we go. Donnie getting Maui fished up. You getting big? Something, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Your long yeah, one's yeah, yeah. right in line. You're over the top of Jared. Okay. There you go. Switch sides, Donnie. There you go. Come on, baby. We tight? Yeah, yeah. man, we tight. Yeah, we tight. OK, now we're getting some action. It's either bonita or a tuna. A little tuna. I believe that's how it should play. Well, there's life, you know? Yeah. There, that's that's the best part, right? You find some life. Hey, look at that. Amber Jack. <laughs> what is it? Amber Jack on the kite. Amber Jack on the kite, baby. When you're good, you're good, I guess, huh? You know Donnie wants to stay around those bottom fish, right? <laughs> there that's it. There we I get go. off the bottom ride for a kite ride and I catch a bottom fish. They don't teach that in the seals. <laughs> nice guys. I mean, that's that's the way to do it, right? That's how fishing I should like be. It. Come on. I need a little bit longer arms. Bring another couple feet. Look at the colors though, huh? I know he's beautiful. Beautiful, all lit up. Get him, Jared. Oh, oh Get hold him. Up, hold up. <laughs> Get him, buddy. Awesome job. Right? Beautiful. Man, great Look at the fish. color. Gorgeous. It's pretty. Really is pretty. Mahi tacos tonight. It is a beautiful, beautiful fish. One of the prettiest in the ocean. No doubt. Got him. Here you go. Here, call him. Get it, girl. Got him. Double. I insist on having a clean boat when I fish. It helps protect my tackle, helps protect everything about that boat. So when I choose a cleaner degreaser, there's only one choice. Formula 88. Cut! Ah! Oh, damn it! Fabulous! Just take a dial a notch there, cowboy. Sail Kings is brought to you by Contender, legendary sport fishing boats. Ameritrail trailers, load, launch, relax. And by Aftco Technical Gear.
I mean, I really don't want to talk about what, you know, some of the things that happened today, especially the, the sand bucket. Ooh. <laughs> It's so bad, dude. It's so bad. <laughs> it's so nasty. Oh. <laughs> and Jared being a backcountry guide, and uh, you know, sometimes the offshore world isn't as clean as the backcountry fishing. Dude, my, dude, my eyes are wa straight watering, bro. I have a, a sensitive stomach and tend to dry heave if I smell anything that's rotten. That bucket was rotten. Dude, it's so bad. <laughs> Listen, man, it's not that bad. That's day two. You gotta give it day three or four or something, you know? I think Charlie left that chum out more than 24 hours. It's all watery, <laughs> nasty, oh, God. Oh, oh. oh. In the show, now we keep it real. We keep it real, we, we're not trying to fake anything, so uh, sometimes it takes two days to go out there and, and get it done. There's no problem with me, I get to spend another day with Charlie and Donnie. I really wish it took me a few more days to get it done. That was a black fin bite. Oh, he's right underneath it. He's gonna get it, get it. Get him, there it is. Got him, yeah. baby. That was, that was silly awesome to watch that I was thing. just waiting right? to throw the next bait. I don't care when fish are biting, man, whatever species, you know, when you're out there and finally a little bit of action happens, it gets fishy. What thought makes it fun for me in offshore. There's a lot of downtime with moments of excitement. Yeah, some days they make you work for it. Oh yeah, there's no doubt. It's a nice, I think it's a nice, I can see him right here, it's a decent fish. Tight. Oh, I had to call hey, it. Thanks, no. thanks, oh, Donnie. Oh, no. Donnie, thanks for actually getting my attention. No. Thank you. For, thank you for that attention. <laughs> got, got off. But at least. Hey, Jared. Yes? Oh, I can do that. She got on. <laughs> oh. You want you me to grab yours? Yours is already oh. on the line. Oh. They're easier to catch like that. Hey, Jared. Yeah? Oh, cool. That's how it's done. Got it. You're good now. All right, nice. man. Beautiful. Beautiful. Will be enough for us to have a nice, oh, yeah. nice meal right there. Look at that. Being on a boat with those guys, being able to spend some time down here in Isla Mirada, the sport fishing capital of the world, it was just, just a great couple of days on the water with Jared and Donnie. It's nice having the calm days, you know? It's nice to not go get beat up and hang out with your boys. At the end of the day, it was, uh, it was good to just be out there with them. Some days it's easy, some days it's not. We've all seen the best of the days and we have seen the worst of the days, but the company I had made it the best of the days. I just got bit. Are you bad? My fish is going around your boat. Got the diamond ring. This is an art to everything.